I just want to say that um, in the midst of all the racism that's going on against uh, African Americans and and East Asians, right? Um, that that I want to like bring some awareness to to actually how awesome the, you know pe people from those communities are, right? Um, you know, first of all the African American community. I've met some people there who are like some of the most generous, compassionate, warm, accepting, loving people. Uh, it was actually in a Christian community, right? Uh, but those people were, you know, some of the warmest people I ever met. They welcomed me, even though I'm not, you know, I'm not African uh, American, right? They they welcomed me into the community. I got like 20 hugs on my first day, and I really felt like wow, you know, there was some void that was being filled within me. Um, you know, I never really had a large community like that where I could just like, you know, stress, stretch myself out and, and, and be myself. Um, they were some of the most loving people I've met. Um, you know, they would be really easy to talk to whenever I was having a hard time. Um, and... And something I admire about them is they, they stand up uh, for themselves against racism. Uh, you know, they're, they're bold, often very bold, passionate. You know, I heard some of their music on stage and it was just so, so inspiring. Like they were singing um, gospel soul songs. Uh, but I'm sure you, you can find many, many, many other genres of music where African Americans have made things super lively and um, enjoyable and now those music styles have kind of influenced like like actually a huge probably a huge huge percentage of the music on the planet <laughs> to be honest like these people are very special and and talented um, but yeah um, yeah some of the most kind and considerate people um, and expressive people and welcoming people so I want to mention that because because um, without knowing the people in it like had I not met them uh, I'm not sure right like I, I, I might not have any you know like opinion about the racism that was going on other than that you know it's it is kind of wrong because maybe i've met a couple of black people here and there who are very nice right but it was after meeting this community that i'm like i'm fully and utterly convinced that um this racism that's happening for whatever reason you know it's still there um it, it's um it's probably like it's misplaced you know it's um people are being <sighs> yeah and i mean like in you know uh there's certain ethnic groups in the world i don't know about right so i it's hard for me to have an opinion about them until i know you know who some of the most amazing people from that group really are right like you know we we like to I guess maybe as part of human nature we um, we like to see the the negatives um, uh, with each other, but it's actually you know we we'd be missing out if we didn't see the positives as well. And you know same with the East Asian community. It's it's honestly you know um, the it, it's it's pretty it's pretty brutal you know. Um, kind of being accused of spreading coronavirus, you know, um, when, you know, a lot of us, a lot of Asian Americans were born in, like, America, you know, it's almost like, you know, and do we have any influence on, on the Chinese government? Well, no, you know, so, 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 you know, um, really be mindful, right, like, who you're, who you're pointing fingers at, it's, um, um, you know, um, and, uh, besides that, besides that, what, what else? There was something else I wanted to mention. Um, yeah. Right, you know, we Asians are trying to just 
make the best of our lives. We're not trying to take anybody's jobs. Um, uh, you know, we're, we're under a lot of pressure ourselves to succeed and a lot of us don't. A lot of us don't meet uh, expectations. Um, a lot of us worked really hard to get to where we are at today, um, right? So we followed rules, right? A lot of us um, don't, uh, we don't, you know, instead of like lashing out, uh, often we kind of keep it inside and, and we are, you know, our revenge is to succeed, you know, um, to succeed and prove you wrong, basically. <laughs> and prove, prove people, prove, prove people who looked down on us, prove them wrong. Um, and a lot of us don't make it. We're just as like, um, a lot of us are just as burdened and floored by COVID as as you are, <laughs> whoever you is, right? Um, but again, right? Um, I even I, I have to admit I had prejudgments on how the Asian community was that you know uh, were hostile. You know, like a lot of us are hostile, judgmental, etc. But that's, I, I, I was completely overlooking um, the, the kindness and the compassion that does exist in the Asian community. Uh, a lot of us, you know, can be crabby at times because we're insecure. <laughs> I, I am one of those crabby people at times, right? Um, and, and with a bit of a, oh, you know, I'm better than, uh, this sort of the silent, you know, I'm better than you kind of mindset. Um, but... But it, it is it is because we do live in this very status driven culture. Uh, both Asian culture and American culture are very status driven. You know, materialistic um, achievement. You know, external achievement driven. So it does put a lot of pressure on us. So um, so I want to I want to say those things um, to whoever is there to uh, to listen, right? I don't mean to like antagonize or anything, just just kind of bring some understanding because, um, you know, I do want to stand up for my folks in the States. Um, well, I, I don't, and not necessarily like my immediate family, but like my Asian, my fellow Asians in the States who are going through a really tough time right now. So sending love to you all. Um, yeah, the Asian community, African community, you guys are friggin' awesome. You've supported me tons, and now I give this love back to you. Take care.